So I work with Irish Cattle Breeding Federation, who are a cooperative um, of cattle breeding organisations in Ireland. It's the AI organisations, the herd recording organisations, the breed associations and the farmers. And uh, they, um, they uh, work collaboratively together in a single cooperative. And um, the primary objective of that cooperative then is genetic improvement of dairy and beef cattle in Ireland. So our main objective uh, of ICBF is genetic improvement and um, genomics now is a, is a key tool in terms of uh, underpinning and accelerating the rate of genetic gain that we can achieve. Um, we have a, a very large genomics program in beef cattle and we have a very developed program in dairy cattle also. And the Axiom technology then allows us to genotype the young candidate animals in the, the breeding population to really help us identify the really the outlier animals that we can then use in our breeding program to accelerate genetic gain. So the challenges that we're facing in Ireland um, from a, in, in terms of the ag food industry, the, the, the biggest challenge we face is, is really the whole one around climate and, and the environment. And um, you know, Ireland, we export 90% of our, our product. That means basically we have a country of four and a half million people, but uh, we export enough food to feed 40 million people. And, and that food generally goes to the UK, to Europe, to Asia. Um, but it's because of our very high levels of cattle numbers then, whenever we look at our uh, greenhouse gas output uh, for our country, uh, agriculture contributes about 30%. 33% of our total greenhouse gas output and and uh, cattle are seen as a you know in the context of, of addressing global challenges around climate and environment uh, you know livestock um, are, are seen as, as one of the you know um, one of the areas where we're looking to, to, to achieve improvements in terms of methane output um, to reduce total methane output from the, the global cattle herd so this is a major project that we have in Ireland to see can we actually start to breed animals that would produce less methane and again that's where we're using the Axiom technology and we're um, uh, collecting information, direct information on, on the traits that are linked to, to climate and environment and then helping us to identify the really superior animals that are going to help us reduce that carbon footprint of our, our national cattle herd. In terms of the future, in terms of genomic applications, I very, very much see then, um, I've touched on how we use genotyping currently to help us identify the outlier animals in the context of the breeding programme, but I actually see it in the future having a much broader ap application. And, and one of the major projects that we have at the moment is, is one whereby we have a, a goal to uh, genotype uh, every animal in Ireland um, and, and in addition to helping us in the context of the breeding programme that also will generate additional benefits really around traceability for example around provenance uh, in terms of you know helping us to really position the Irish agri-food industry as being really world leading uh, and underpinned by having that source that key DNA data on each animal at birth uh, when the animal is born. So the ICBF project, uh, the, the Beef Genomics project, it's a, it's a very large project. We have, we have almost two million animals genotyped at this point in time and uh, we, we've worked very, very closely with Thermo Fisher. Uh, we're on to their our second iteration of our customised chip uh, and that has gone very, very well for us. We've just come through uh, our first year of uh, genotyping over 300,000 animals and uh, we're looking forward to genotyping another 300,000 animals this year and very confident you know, with the team and the support that Thermo Fisher are giving us that we're going to achieve that. And I suppose looking forward, we, we, we look forward to, to continuing the relationship because as I said, our, our goal is over the next five years to be looking to genotype two and a half million animals per year. And because of our seasonal production systems in Ireland, that's going to require us at peak to be geno genotyping 200,000 animals in a week. So again, that's going to really require close a close working relationship with Thermo Fisher and the, the laboratory teams in that, that we're, we're looking to, to work with to provide genomic services. <laughs>